Hi, Jordan. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Such a beautiful day. And congratulations on being one of our award winners for the College Arts Scholarship. So that's super Thank exciting. You. Yes, it is. So give me a little information about yourself. Um, my name is Jordan Carranza. I go to College View High School. I plan to attend the University of North Texas in the fall. Super excited. Go Eagles. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah. And your uh, area of study is going to be? Visual arts. I'm going to go into the visual arts field. So how did you get into visual arts? Like, what made you go that direction? Um, so my dad is an artist, actually. He works for Alpha Graphics out on Texas, nice. or Texas Avenue, not University. Um, and so he's always been a huge influence on me getting into the arts and keeping, staying with the arts. Um, it also is just super fun for me. Really just calm my soul. Aww. But not only were you into arts, you were involved in a lot of other activities with high school. Yes, ma'am, I was. And give me that long lift. Society, student council, um, the superintendent's cabinet, the principal's advisory board, and uh, United Way Youth Leadership. Oh, wow. That is super exciting. You've got a lot of leadership in you. That is so <laughs> awesome. Thank you for that. Our future definitely is going to be bright. So why the arts? Like, what has the arts done for you? Um, the arts has really just let me express myself and has really uh, helped me grow mm -hmm. and guide me in the directions that I should go in <laughs> yeah. to stay healthy and happy. Um, it really is just a true outlet that lets me express myself in every way, every way. And you, you were telling me a couple of projects that y'all worked on, like one where the 50 Men Can Cook, you y'all did a rocking chair. Um, what are some, what all what all happened with that rocking chair? So they basically gave us a blank rocking chair, like just straight up plywood, not plywood, like um, just bare wood, like that's right. it. And so they said, paint it, do whatever you want, just make it. They gave each school a theme, so we got Aggies, we were the Aggie thing. Nice. Um, and a lot of the other schools were just gonna straight paint it, so I had the idea of staining it first to give it like that natural Aggie mahogany feel instead right. of just painting it like everybody else. Um, and then we put the symbol on it, and then the, uh, the tree where everyone gets married under. Uh, the century yeah, tree. Century, century tree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Um, and then we just put a bunch of like Aggie sayings on the bottom, and uh, some Aggie symbols on the, on the, the four wood parts that are on the Awesome. The chair. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, super fun. Super maroon. Super gold. Super Aggie. I love it. Super, super. So, tell me a little bit about um, how you came about to wanting to get um, studying in the visual art. Um, I always knew I wanted to do something with arts mm -hmm. with my life. Yeah. I did a job. I was super cool. Um, uh, so, just going into visual arts seemed like the most basic. I can go anywhere from here, right. kind of, and, but stay in the art field. So that was my whole plan. Is there anybody you would like to give a special thank you to? Yeah, I would like to thank my parents and the donors who make this scholarship possible. Without you, literally, I would have no money to go to college. Thank you. Yes, no, our donors are absolutely amazing, but I, I think your parents are just as amazing to yes. have such an accomplished young lady headed off to uh, college, to career, and um, have an amazing career in visual art. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future with all that you do. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Yeah. Well, I will see you later. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Abby, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I want to congratulate you on being one of um, the Art Council's College Art Scholarship awardees. Thank you so much. I'm so honored. Aw, thank you. So, what high school do you go to? So, I'm a senior at College Station High School. Awesome. 
Boom! And where are you planning on attending college? Um, I will be at Texas A&M University in the fall as a dance and science kinesiology major. Wow, that's super exciting. So how did you get into the, how did you get into dance? Um, I started dancing about 11 years ago um, at my local rec center in Connecticut before I moved here and I started off as a competitive dancer and then when I moved here I switched more into the um, performance side of things yeah. so what really drew me to dance was like just being able I was very shy as a kid so being able to express myself in something without words. Wow that's awesome so do you have any by that mentor you or any role models that you have? One of my role models is my teacher Andrea Sheridan at Suzanne School of Dance. She's taught me for five years now and what I love about her is that she's always pushing me to be the best person I can be even when I'm tired or just not in the mood to be dancing maybe that day. And She's just always pushing me to be better and I love that about her. Oh, that's an excellent role model for sure to push you to make sure that you be everything you can possibly be. So how many hours do you practice or? Um, for dance, it's normally about, let me count. I'm not good at math. I'm not special. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this year I have about eight hours. So a little less than a couple previous years, but keeping up with all the senior stuff this year is I've cut down a little bit. Oh wow. But, but, but it takes many hours each week to to keep it up. Oh my goodness. So what is your favorite thing about dance? Ooh. Um just being able to perform and being on that stage, like you get to express yourself in a way that like um that doesn't use words like I said before and right. you can just tell a story. So why are the arts important to you? Um, the arts are important to me because, um, like like I said before, it, like you can express yourself with something other than speaking. So like with music or with art or just dance, like I said, it's just another way to say something and it means something. Exactly. You're so right. And you're also involved in the orchestra in your high school, correct? Yes. So what instruments do you play? Um, I play the viola. Wow, any other instruments? Oh yes, I play the ukulele, the mm -hmm. guitar, and the piano. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. That, wow, that's a lot of instruments. So how did you get started in music? Um, I started playing the piano when I was in kindergarten, so I've always been doing music. I started orchestra in the third grade, and I've just stuck with it for a long time. And then I just started playing ukulele and guitar on my own just for fun. and. It's just grown from there. That is super exciting. Is there anything else you want to add to? Like, is there anybody you want to thank for everything that they've done or? Um, I just want to say thank you to all my teachers who have helped me grow as an artist and as a person and who have got me to the place that I am today and the person that I am today. Um, they've really helped me grow and I'm forever thankful for that. And then I'd also like to thank all the donors who donated to this program and um, providing for artists like me to follow their dreams. That is absolutely amazing. We, we have an amazing, amazing community because of the people that are surrounding us. Um, you're, I just can't wait to see everything that you do. I'm super excited for you and very proud of you. And congratulations again on receiving one of uh, the Art Council College Art Scholarships. Thank you thank so much. You. Thank you. Hi, Carolyn, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Congratulations on being one of our scholarship winners for our college art scholarship. That's exciting. Thank you. Yes. So what high school did you go to? I went to Bryan High School. Awesome, that's exactly where I went to high school. What about what college are you gonna attend? This fall, I will be attending Texas A&M University. Oh, what? That's exactly where I went to school too. That's exciting. So what area of study are you gonna go in? Um, I plan on majoring in visualization. So 
what got you started in the arts? So when I was little, I took art lessons outside of school. I did a lot of watercolor paintings. Ooh. And then inside of school, I always took art classes and I really enjoyed them. So um, do you have like a role model or mentor in the arts? Yeah, so my dad is a really good artist and he always encouraged me to try different things with art. Um, so that really put me along that path. Awesome. So what um, kind of art does he do? He does a lot of oil paintings and also does some stuff with colored pencils. Oh, awesome. Does he have like a favorite subject he likes to do? He really likes to do landscape paintings and then drawings of animals. Oh, wow. What about you? What are your favorite subjects? I really like to do stuff with acrylic paint, so I'll do portraits and that. And then I also love charcoal pencils. I'll draw animals mm -hmm. with the black charcoal pencils and white charcoal pencils. Wow, that's exciting. So what is your favorite thing about the arts? Um, my favorite thing about the arts is probably just being able to have a creative outlet and share my work with other people. Oh, yes, that's huge. So why are arts important? Arts are important, I think, mostly because they kind of like document um, what's going on in history and they're very essential to each culture. Definitely, definitely. Is there anything you'd like to add um, as we wrap up our little interview? I would just like to thank the donors that um, made the scholarship possible and um, all my art teachers that I've ever had for encouraging me to try new things and really develop my skills as an artist. Those teachers are absolutely amazing and we are super fortunate to have a, a lot of donors who believe in our scholarship program and believe in the arts and to support our future so I so appreciate you saying that. Well I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with your career through Texas A&M and, and all that you do so I'm super excited and proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi Alexa, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. Congratulations on being one of our College Art Scholarship Awardees. That's Thank super you. exciting for 2020. <laughs> yes. Thank so, you. So, which high school did you go to? I went to A&M Consolidated High School. Awesome. And which college are you going to? Um, Blinn College. Oh, awesome. So what got you started into art? Um, I think I've always liked it, like in elementary school, but then I just stopped middle school and I did other things. And then when I went back into high school, I had to take a art related elective. Mm -hmm. And so I took it freshman year and I just kept taking it every year after that. Wow. What else were you involved in in high school? Um, I did soccer for freshman and sophomore year. Wow. And then um, I was in student council and NHS. Wow. You were a pretty busy young lady in high school. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So was there anybody that inspired you or was a role model to you? Um, I think my teacher, Miss Bevins, she helped me get back into art, yeah. yeah. And you had her your whole time in high school, didn't you? I did. Special person, that's for sure. Um, so what is that thing about art that, that keeps you going? I think seeing what other people are doing and how they show their creativeness and how I can show mine right. to others. And yeah. So why are arts important? I think the arts are important because it allows people to express themselves and then for other people to interpret it and experience your art, whether that be in like art or like music or design. Oh, definitely. There's a lot of benefits to art. That is for sure. Um, is there anybody you'd like to say a thank you to for, for all the work that they've helped you and um, I would like to give a thanks to my teacher, Ms. Bevins, my family, and the donors for giving me this scholarship. 
we wouldn't we wouldn't get very far without our donors they are truly truly special people and believe in our future just like you're a teacher right. and your family we're super happy that we're able to to help you through your Thank next you. stage and <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing what all you do so stay yes. in touch and congratulations again i will thank you so much you're welcome bye hi sarah how are you hi i'm doing good how are you i'm doing great i want to congratulate you on winning one of our scholarships which was the thank the you Natalie, yes which was the the natalie jackson Simic emerging um artist scholarship so that's super exciting thank you so much yeah. i'm super so, grateful yeah that's awesome it's just so awesome that we have an amazing community that believes in the arts and supports others it's it's just a, a great community to be in so you which high school do you go to i go to AM consolidated high school and which um college are you going to go to i'm planning on going to florida state university Wow, and your major is going to be in dance, so I'll be doing all sorts of different type of dance classes. So how did you get started in dance? So I started dancing when I was four, and um, all through my childhood I played all different types of sports and everything, but I guess in eighth grade I decided I really wanted to focus on dance. or maybe a little bit sooner, but yeah, I really decided to pursue dance and that I wanted to continue to do it throughout high school and eventually make it into a career. Wow, so what all have you done um, locally with dance? Like what organizations are you a part of? So Ballet Brazos has been a super huge part of um, my dance career so far and um, I've been in it for about eight years and so oh. Our main production has been the Nutcracker each year, but we have also like lots of different local um, performances for like students in school and all different sorts of stuff like that. So, and then I've also I grew up dancing at Suzanne's School of Dance, yeah, and um, they've just played a huge, super big role in just like my growth as a dancer, and um, so I've been. I was danced there for 13 years and I was a part of Company Abundance for a while and then I was in the Ballet Academy when they first started that and um, and then each summer I would go to different ballet intensives. Mm -hmm. I went to Ballet West in Utah, um, University of Oklahoma Summer Intensive, yeah. um, University of Indiana. So. I've trained lots of different places, and then this past year, um, some of my teachers pushed me to kind of uh, go outside of Call Station and pursue dance in Houston, so I've been wow. taking at um, Pataka School of Dance this past year. Wow, what an incredible journey you have had. So have you had any mentors or anybody that inspired you to, to stay in dance? I think um, Miss Katie Ellison has been a huge mentor especially um in the genre of ballet she's just uh really inspired me to pursue that and i had never really liked ballet until i started taking her classes so wow. um, i just yeah she's been a big inspiration to me and um bethany slabos and suzanne moreau who um who started at Suzanne's and then Bethany's now the director. They played a huge role also. And um, yeah. That's exciting. Some pair, some very powerful people around you. Yes. That's awesome. So what is your favorite thing about dance? My favorite thing is probably performing and just like seeing how the work comes together and getting to be on stage and just see how it impacts people and um, just to get to share the love of dance with everybody and I'm also a Christian so I love to worship through dance. That is amazing. So what does your future in dance look like for you? So um, I hope to dance professionally after college and um, 
but I loved I would love to teach and um, even pursue ministry with dance and teach um, girls in other countries how to worship through dance and um, I'm also super interested in the medical field so if there's any way I, I would love to like combine dance with that someday yes. that would be really awesome that sounds awesome so why are the arts important I think like the main thing is that dance um, brings out things different things in people and it can really connect with people's emotions and it can be super powerful and mm -hmm. impact them and yeah it can really tell a story and I think it's a great thing for our community and it brings us all together you're absolutely right absolutely so when you um got got into dance you're you're also involved in something else in high school um the is it national honor society yes wow so not only are you doing fantastic in your dance world but you are making some amazing grades in high school and that's girl you got it going on thank you <laughs> thank i'm super you. proud of you thanks so, we're gonna wrap wrap it up is there anything that we didn't talk about that you wanted to add i guess um also in high school i was involved with the youth group and um i was in a basic school medical practice class so wow. um i was pretty busy but i love dancing so much and yeah it keeps you going is there, yeah. is there anybody you want to give a special thanks to Yes, I would love to thank the donors that um, provided me with this opportunity to receive this scholarship, and I'm just so grateful that the, um, that the Brass Valley Arts Council supports me. Wow, thank you, and I, I know that they're super excited and, and, and love that we're able to support uh, our future, especially in the arts. Um, is there anybody else you want to thank? I guess just all the um, teachers who have um, help me get to this point from Suzanne School Dance and Pure Energy and Ballet Brazos and um, Bataka. Yeah, just all of my mentors and teachers. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Well, I can't wait to see what all you do, and I'm looking forward to that. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. I'm super proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.